Welcome to the HyperMesh 2023 introduction videos. This is a compact selection of tips and tricks. You will see interesting additional tools, selection methods, and keyboard shortcuts. The tool belt can be called using the Alt key plus right click. When keeping the right mouse button pressed, you have a small choice of tools directly around your mouse pointer. Lifting the right mouse button opens the full tool belt. There are four default tool belts available through different combinations of Alt, Shift, and Control. You can populate each tool belt easily by drag and drop and export it for shared use. Extensions allow you to create customized ribbons, download menus, and toolbars. These can be populated by default tools or your individually scripted solutions. Examples are available in a default extension. Under community.altire.com you find further examples and guidance in setting up your own extensions. Control plus I, Control plus E and Control plus O are shortcuts to open the import, the export and the open dialogs. Control plus S saves your current model file. The import option display representation boosts performance, especially for huge models. The imported geometry is meant only for display in this case. No editing or meshing is possible after such import. You can copy and paste entities between HyperMesh windows in one session. Related entities may be copied along with the originally copied entities, like here, with elements, material and properties are copied. A PDF is available listing keyboard shortcuts and mouse controls. Search the help for keyboard shortcuts and mouse controls. Under View, Keyboard Shortcuts, you can customize the keyboard settings. Find Entities allows to find attached entities. You can click on one element to display its adjacent elements. Or hit the play button to display elements adjacent to all displayed elements. The option nearby can bring multiple types of entities back to display or isolate the displayed entities based on their proximity to a selected location. The D key will open the Show Hide tool. Per default, a left click is hiding components. With Shift and left click you can show components from the off. Window selection works also. Hitting Control plus a number key will save the current view. You can call it by hitting Alt and the number key. You can use keys to switch the selector to different entity types. Hit keys with multiple assignments until you arrive at the desired entity, like for lines and loads. The dot key opens the advanced selection menu. Interesting selection methods include elements by path, where you can close the path by middle mouse click. or elements by edge, with the option free loops only. Or the window selection option, intersecting. Similar does select all elements of the currently selected type. This works also for surfaces.
Holding the Alt key while left-clicking during element selection is a shortcut for the selection type, by face. The Alt key for selection is customizable from the right-click menu. Hitting comma during selection calls the customization for the current entity type. Control plus the Z key returns to the previous selection. Also in case you cleared your selection, maybe by accident, like for example through a left click in the background. The search tool helps finding tools and create solver keywords. You can double-click an entity in the graphics area to open the entity editor for it. In entity browsers, the filter offers each column as filter criterion and lists per criterion the values available in the model. Boolean definitions allow multiple criteria definitions to be used. Predefined filters exist also for the current component, for the displayed components, or the currently selected components. References, from the right mouse menu, finds entities that are related to the selected entities. It allows also for further drill down. And different listing types in the browser. This was the Compact Basic Tips and Tricks Collection for Handling HyperWorks 2023. Additional collections of tips and tricks may be made available soon. You can also find helpful content on the Altair How to channel on YouTube. And on our community, under altair.community.com. And last but not least, on our learning management system, learn.altair.com, where you find our instructor led classes, but also lots of e learning. Thanks for watching.